How to Get Rid of Bed Bugs on Furniture, Detail Guide If you're feeling itchy at the thought of bed bugs on your furniture, fear not. We've got you covered. We'll show you how to get rid of bed bugs on furniture in this video. But first, what are the tools and materials you'll need to complete this task? For the full list and where to get them, check the description and pinned comment below. Now that you have all your tools and materials ready, let's get rid of those bugs. Get rid of it! Identify the furniture with bed bugs. The best way to determine whether your furniture is infested with bed bugs is to look for signs. These signs include live bugs, eggs, or fecal matter. First, remove any items from the furniture that could be hiding bed bugs. Remove pillows, blankets, or toys. Then, use a flashlight to check the seams and crevices of the furniture. Bed bugs like to hide in tight spaces. So, make sure to check every nook and cranny. You may also use a magnifying glass. This will allow you to get a better look at any suspicious spots. Look for small, oval-shaped insects that are reddish-brown in color. They are about the size of an apple seed. However, you can still spot them with the naked eye. If you see any live bugs, you can catch them using a piece of tape. Alternatively, you can use a sticky trap. Another thing to look for is bed bug eggs. These are tiny, white, and oval-shaped. They are about the size of a pinhead. As such, they can be difficult to see without a magnifying glass. Finally, look for bed bug fecal matter. This will look like small, dark spots on the furniture. They can often be found in seams or crevices. If you see any signs of bed bugs, take action right away. There are also bed bug detection kits. They can help you detect the presence of bed bugs on furniture. These kits use a combination of lures and traps to attract and capture bed bugs. Basically, they make it easier to identify the areas that need treatment. The key to identifying furniture with bed bugs is to be thorough and diligent in your inspection. Remove any clutter. Clutter, such as pillows, blankets, and toys, can provide hiding places for bed bugs. These items can make it more difficult to treat the furniture. By removing clutter, you'll be able to treat the furniture more effectively. You will also reduce the chances of a bed bug infestation spreading. Start by identifying any items on or around the furniture that could be providing hiding places for bed bugs. This might include things like throw pillows, blankets, or stuffed animals. Once you've identified these items, remove them from the room. Then, store them in plastic bags or containers. It's important to seal the bags or containers tightly. This will prevent the bed bugs from escaping and infesting other areas of your home. You may also want to consider washing any items that are machine washable. Use hot water and a high heat dryer cycle to kill any bed bugs that may be present. Vacuum the furniture. Vacuuming removes any bed bugs or eggs that are hiding in the furniture. It also removes debris that may be providing hiding places for them. To begin, make sure your vacuum cleaner has a hose attachment. This will be used to reach all the nooks and crannies of the furniture. Start by vacuuming the entire surface of the furniture. Pay special attention to the seams and crevices where bed bugs like to hide. Use the hose attachment to get into any tight spaces that are difficult to reach. When vacuuming, move the hose attachment slowly over the surface of the furniture. Make sure to cover every inch. Bed bugs and their eggs can be very small and difficult to see, so be thorough. Once you've finished vacuuming the furniture, dispose of the vacuum bag or empty the canister outside your home. This will help prevent any bed bugs or eggs from escaping back into your home. There are specialized vacuum cleaners designed specifically for bed bug removal. These vacuum cleaners often have more powerful suction. They also come with specialized attachments for reaching tight spaces. Some of these vacuum cleaners also come with HEPA filters. These filters can help trap any bed bugs or eggs that are vacuumed up. Another useful tool for vacuuming furniture is a crevice tool. 
This is a narrow attachment that can be used to get into tight spaces. This includes the seams of a mattress or the crevices of a wooden bed frame. Although standard vacuum cleaners can be used for this step, these specialized vacuum cleaners are more effective. If you can get such, it will make your job easier and more effective. If you have one of such vacuum cleaners, use the crevice tool instead of the hose attachment. Steam clean the furniture. Steam cleaning the furniture is another effective method for getting rid of bed bugs. The heat from the steam will penetrate the furniture and kill bed bugs and eggs hiding inside. Hold the nozzle of the steam cleaner a few inches away from the surface of the furniture. Then, move it slowly over the entire surface. Pay particular attention to the seams and crevices where bed bugs like to hide. Move the nozzle slowly to allow the heat from the steam to penetrate the furniture. This will ensure that the heat kills the bed bugs and eggs. When using a steam cleaner, it's important to take safety precautions. Wear gloves and protective clothing to avoid burns from the steam. Never use a steam cleaner on electrical outlets or other sensitive areas. The moisture might damage the outlets or those areas. Not all steam cleaners are designed for bed bug removal. Therefore, look for steam cleaners that specifically mention bed bug removal on the label. Be sure to follow the instructions carefully to ensure safe and effective use. Steam cleaning can kill bed bugs and their eggs, but it may not remove all the debris. Debris usually provides hiding places for bed bugs. So it's more effective to use steam cleaning after vacuuming. Use a bed bug spray. Bed bug sprays contain chemicals that kill bed bugs and their eggs on contact. When using a bed bug spray, choose a spray specifically labeled for use on furniture. Using the wrong spray can damage the furniture. It can even be dangerous to humans and pets. Before using the spray, carefully read the instructions on the label. Make sure to follow the instructions closely. Bed bug sprays can be harmful if not used properly. Shake the bed bug spray can or bottle well. Then, spray a small amount of the spray onto an inconspicuous area of the furniture. This is to test for any adverse reactions. Wait a few minutes to ensure that there are no adverse reactions. If there isn't any, proceed with the full application. Spray the bed bug spray directly onto the furniture. Pay extra attention to the seams and crevices where bed bugs like to hide. Apply the spray in a well-ventilated area. Avoid inhaling the spray or getting it on your skin or in your eyes. It's a good idea to wear a mask while spraying. After applying the bed bug spray, let the furniture dry completely. You can then use the furniture again. It's also a good idea to vacuum the furniture again. Doing this will remove any dead bed bugs and debris. Use diatomaceous earth. Diatomaceous earth is a natural substance made from the fossilized remains of diatoms, a type of algae. It's a fine, powdery substance that can be used to effectively kill bed bugs on furniture. The diatomaceous earth product you use must be food-grade diatomaceous earth powder. Food-grade diatomaceous earth is safe to use around humans and pets. It's also non-toxic. Next, carefully apply a thin layer of diatomaceous earth to the furniture. Focus on the seams and crevices where bed bugs like to hide. Use a small brush to work the powder into the seams and crevices. The diatomaceous earth works by dehydrating the bed bugs and their eggs, causing them to die. Bear in mind that the diatomaceous earth does not work immediately. It can take several days for the bed bugs to die. After applying the diatomaceous earth, leave it on the furniture for at least 48 hours. This will give it time to work. Avoid disturbing the powder during this time. This is important because it can take a while for the bed bugs to come into contact with it. Finally, vacuum up the diatomaceous earth and any dead bed bugs. Use a vacuum with a bag or canister as the powder can clog a vacuum filter. Note that diatomaceous earth is only effective when it's dry. So it's important to keep the furniture dry while using it. Encase the furniture. 
This will prevent any remaining bed bugs from escaping and infesting other areas of your home. It will also protect your furniture from future infestations. This method, however, may not be applicable to all types of furniture. To encase your furniture, get a bed bug proof cover that fits your furniture snugly. Gaps or openings can provide an entry point for bed bugs. These covers are typically made of strong, durable material. They are resistant to bed bugs and their bites. Remove any remaining clutter from the furniture. Thoroughly vacuum the entire surface to remove any remaining bed bugs or eggs. Carefully place the bed bug proof cover over the furniture. Make sure to completely cover all sides and seams. Leave the cover on for at least 12 to 18 months. This will ensure that any remaining bed bugs or eggs die. Bed bugs can survive for up to six months without a meal. In addition, bed bugs can go through a process known as diapason or dormancy in unfavorable environmental conditions. Within this period, they slow down their metabolism to conserve energy. Research shows that some bed bugs have survived for up to 500 days. If you really want the very best results with encasement, leave the cover on for 18 months. Dispose of heavily infested furniture. If your furniture is heavily infested with bed bugs and cannot be salvaged, you may need to dispose of it. This is a drastic step, but it may be necessary. Doing so will prevent the infestation from spreading to other areas of your home. To dispose of heavily infested furniture, start by wrapping it in plastic. This will help contain any bed bugs or eggs that may be on the furniture. It will also prevent them from spreading to other areas of your home. Label the plastic wrap as infested with bed bugs. This will alert others to the presence of bed bugs. Disposing of infested furniture without labeling can lead to the spread of bed bugs to other homes or neighborhoods. Next, dispose of it in accordance with your local laws and regulations. Some areas may require you to dispose of infested furniture in a particular way. For instance, you might have to use a specific waste disposal service. Disposing of infested furniture should be a last resort. It can be costly and wasteful. If you must dispose of infested furniture, take additional steps to prevent the spread of bed bugs. This may include thoroughly cleaning and vacuuming the area where the furniture was located. You also need to regularly inspect other furniture items and areas of your home for signs of bed bugs. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. If so, please like, share, and comment to let me know what you thought. Your feedback is important to me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos.